Notful is the app that finally replaced Notability from my workflow. That is something no other app has been able to do since I went paperless. If you missed that video where I explained why that is, make sure you check it out. We'll have a link to it in the description down below. In today's video, we'll be going through everything you need to know about Notful. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipper with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Noteful is a handwriting note-taking app for the iPad and iPhone by Noteful Technologies Limited. It costs $4.99, a one-time purchase, and has a free version with some limitations that you can try before purchasing it. It is very easy to get started in Notful. When you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you can start taking notes with a single tap. You can determine the defaults you want for your quick notes, templates that you frequently use, of course, and that setting is very accessible. If you're not in a hurry, you can customize every important aspect of your new notebook. That is, you can name it, add tags. The application uses tags for organizing your notes, which is better than folders because then one notebook can belong to multiple folders. You can pick a paper template from your recently used ones or go to all the templates in the application. It has different kinds of paper templates. These can either be portrait, landscape, or any of the three colors available. You can also choose a page size. If you don't like any of these templates, you can import your own. Notful can also import Word, PowerPoint, and PDF documents into the application. All the types of documents you import are first converted to PDF if they're not already. You can even import multiple documents. The app will import them as separate documents, which saves you a lot of time. The user interface in Noteful is minimalist. It doesn't have too much going on and it looks modern. Exactly what you'd expect in 2022. By default, the toolbar is on the left side of your screen, which works. However, you do get an option to move it to any side of the screen you want. You can also move your tab bar to the bottom if you prefer that. For an even more minimalist look, you can turn off your iPad status bar. Notful has two types of pens, ballpoint and fountain. Both have a size range from 0.1 to 5 millimeters. The app allows you to save five favorite thicknesses. Your colors go below your tools in the application. This toolbar currently has 11 colors and there seems to still be room for more. You can easily adjust any of the colors from the grid or wheel. They recently added a color picker and hex code, which are all the color picking options you need for a note taking app. You can also now rearrange them if you like. Noteful uses vector ink which does not pixelate when you zoom in. It will be helpful to know how zoomed in we are on pages because the application has insane zooming capabilities. Displaying a percentage zoom would make life easier. It does indicate when you fit a page to the screen. The handwriting experience in Noteful is awesome. There is no lag, palm rejection is perfect. Your highlighter tool has a size range from one to 10 millimeters. It has a different color palette, which makes sense. 
and it goes behind your ink. Even if you layer it, it does not dim your text or your ink. The best highlighting for your note taking up. The shapes tool under the plus icon in Noteful works more like stickers. Just tap on the shape you want and it's added to your notes with a single tap. You can also draw your shapes directly on the page, which is the best way to add shapes to the application. Noteful supports regular and irregular shapes, which you can adjust after you've drawn them. You can easily resize and rotate your shapes. You can also style your shapes to choose the border color, the border thickness, and the border type. You can add a full color to your shapes, which could be opaque or translucent. And you can also adjust the opacity of your entire shape. At the moment, your shape border and fill color they can only be the same color. We hope in the future we'll be able to have different colors for them. Your eraser tool has five fixed sizes. It can erase per stroke or pixel. You can set your eraser to erase the highlighter only. And Note 4 also has an option to erase nodes around your shapes without erasing the shapes themselves. Auto deselect immediately switches you back to the tool you were using before the eraser. You can also clear everything on the page with a single tap. This option is not very easily accessible. Let's hope our developer can just put it under the eraser. Your text goes in a text box, which disappears when you stop typing. You can change the color of your text. Make it bold, italic, underline, or strikeout. You can also style your text boxes by picking a background color, text box style, border thickness, and you can also adjust the opacity of both your text box and its text. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to save some of these styles as favorites. You can also resize and rotate the text box. The lasso tool in Notful can pick up specific items off your page, so you can pick up just your handwriting, highlights, text boxes, or images and shapes. You can also pick any combination you like. For a selection, you can take a screenshot of it and determine the size of the image. You can export the image to anywhere you like, or just drag and drop the selection out of the app. You can resize and rotate, cut, copy, or delete the selection. Styling works best when you select one item at a time. So for example, if you select just the text alone or handwriting alone, you can move your selection across pages. You can't add a lot of items to your notes in Noteful yet. We hope that changes as we get more updates for the app. Images are a must-have for a note-taking app. Digital notes are just not complete without diagrams, right? You can add images from photos, take some with your camera. Or drag and drop them into the application. You can then crop your image freehand or as a rectangle. Resizing gives you the rotation option as well. You can add a frame to your images, and these look cooler with free hand cropped images. You can also determine the color of your frame. Like with shapes, you can also adjust the opacity for your images. Not full supports audio recordings. You can record audio while taking notes, and it will sync that. We hope the feature will be extended to text in the future. Your recordings are organized according to the date and time when you recorded them. You can rename or delete them. And you also have the option to export just the audio out of the application. During your playback, 
you can rewind or fast forward 10 seconds at a time. You can also skip through the audio by tapping sections of your notes. The app also allows you to speed up or slow down your playback. You can tag your pages in Noteful. When the tag you want is not there, you can easily create a new one. The app adds your tag to the page, which you can edit anytime. We hope in the future we could play around with our tag colors. Colored tags could help, and they're also easier to identify. The awesome thing about tags in Noteful is that they're universal. You can access them for all the notebooks in the application. Layers offer a smart way of creating digital notes that we haven't explored before. It might seem difficult at first, but once you understand it, it's an excellent way to create notes, especially study notes you wish to revise. You can name your layers so you know what each layer contains. You can easily delete all the information on a single layer for the entire notebook or just for the page you're on. You can also delete the layer, which deletes everything on that layer, of course. And lastly, Notful can merge your layers. When you don't want to see the information on a specific layer, you can just hide it. Notful supports multiple instances. You can therefore open the same notebook twice. You can also open multiple tabs, which opens even more documents at a time. Scribble could be a workaround for those that need handwriting conversion in the application. At the moment, Notful does not support handwriting conversion. Like most note-taking apps on the market, Notful does not support true dark mode. In fact, it does not have dark mode at all. Your best shot at it would be to use the app's dark paper, which means your ink has to be white and you can't and these don't switch when you switch modes. Noteful has unique gestures that you can choose to turn off in the application settings. You can tap with two fingers to undo, tap not swipe, then you can tap with three fingers to redo. These override the default three finger swipes for iPadOS. You can view all the pages in your document. In Notful, you can adjust the thumbnail sizes. So zooming out fits more pages on the screen, making it easier to scroll through longer documents. Zooming in lets you see more details of your page in case you're looking for something. You then have options to insert a new page from any template, copy a page for pasting, rotate your page, and the application has proper page rotation which rotates your ink as well. You can tag a page, delete, or extract a page to create a new notebook, which creates a copy of the page in that new notebook. We hope in the future we'll be able to move pages, not necessarily copy them, and also be able to move or copy them to already existing notebooks. You can select multiple pages to copy, rotate, tag, delete, extract, or share. The app also lets you rearrange your pages in this window. Notful can recognize the document outlines in your PDFs. The application also lets you create your own outlines for documents that don't have any or add to already existing ones. Another cool feature in Noteful is that you can nest your outlines. A lot of you guys have been asking and looking for an application that can nest your outlines. Perhaps Noteful could be worth leaving good notes for. Do tell. Unfortunately, at the moment, Notful does not export your documents with their outlines. So if exporting outlines is a big part of your work, you might have to wait a little bit. You can bookmark your pages with a single tap. Notful then gives you an option to rename your bookmark or delete it. You also have the option to rearrange your bookmarks. Under the three dots icon, you can change the paper template for the currently open page. Noteful therefore supports different page templates in a single notebook. 
you also have the option to change all the pages in your notebook, which is awesome. You can set your notes in Notful, just your text. The application does not search through your handwriting, which is a huge problem for a note-taking app, for a handwriting note-taking app. So we look forward to having handwriting searching in the application. The app displays your search results and their page numbers on a pop-up sidebar. You can then scroll through to see what you're looking for. You can skip to specific pages in your document, if you know the page number, of course. Pinning pages makes them easier to access on the home page. You won't be wasting time opening documents, scrolling, navigating them to find pages. You can simply pin it and pick up from where you left right on the home page. Draw with touch lets you draw with your finger, meaning you can use passive styluses in Noteform. The app's homepage displays your tags or folders on the left sidebar. For those that prefer the folders feel, you can create hierarchies by dragging and dropping your folders, which are your tags, into other tags or folders. Noteful does support an infinite number of folders within folders, which is the best type of organization you can find for a note-taking app. Your pinned notebooks and pages are at the very top, so they're easy to find. Universal search in the application is currently limited to your notebook's titles. We hope in the future we'll be able to search through the contents of our documents right on the home page. Your notebooks can display as lists or thumbnails, and you can sort them by date or name. Selecting multiple documents gives you options to share, duplicate, edit the tags, or delete them. Noteful is a minimalist app with very few settings. You can turn on iCloud Sync and Auto Backup. A note-taking app needs both. At the moment, you are limited to using Google Drive only. We hope to see other popular cloud services in the future. For your backup, you can choose to include or exclude some tags. And your backup can either be the Noteful format or PDF. Noteful is an amazing note-taking app for the iPad, one we don't hesitate to recommend. Our team loves it and we prefer it to Notability and GoodNotes. It does have its limitations though, especially the fact that it does not have handwriting recognition capabilities. The app also doesn't have a Zoom tool, which we hope to get as well. Let us know if this is an application you can fit into your workflow. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.